Hello everyone, Shelley here. Hope you're going well and you maybe got out and done some birding recently. Before I start this video, I just want you to know that this video is aimed at those that already have a basic knowledge of Lightroom Classic and I won't be going into every step in detail. That leads me into what this video is about. It's about masking and refining your mask and to get a good mask. And you know, why am I doing a video on it? Because one of the things that will let you down is if your mask is not good and you do need to refine it. And I'm just gonna go through the procedure of how I mask and how I refine the mask. And it's something that I do at the beginning of my editing process. So what do I think is important to get right when you, you come to editing? Well, before you start the process, the masking of what you're going to mask is so important that you refine the mask. And quite often you do a subject mask and then you do a background mask. They're the two main masks that will come in handy when you're editing with your birds and wildlife and also in other um, genres you will find this quite useful. So what I'm going to do is show you how to mask and when you've done your selection and then you see that something has been missed, that the masking hasn't picked up, how you can add to your selection and then refine your mask. So you can see this image in front of you on the screen is of a bird and Bankshire. So the first thing I'm going to do is a subject mask. So I'll go up and I choose the subject. And it's done a pretty good job, hasn't it? But if you go in closely and have a look, so we'll go to 100%, you can see that it's missed some areas in that mask. And I'm just going to press the space bar and you can see down here the gaps in the foliage. Some of them haven't been separated from the background. So that's going to be a problem when you start doing your editing. Okay, so I've just shown you a few little issues with the masking. And so what we, how do we fix that? Well, we need to refine our mask. But before we refine the mask, we want to make sure if there's any other, any other things that we need to be selected. So I'll just go to fit on the screen and this is all good. This is what I want, the three bank shears. And then over here, it's just selected part of this bank shear. And I think what I'll do is I will include it because it just gives me an option to, if I do a different crop or something and all the edits will be done to what could possibly be in the photo. Okay, so we've selected our subject and all we're going to do is add anything that we've missed. So we've missed this bank share here and you click add and we're going down to select object and then we've selected the object and the mode is either brush or the rectangle. I'm going to choose the brush and then all you do is do a very rough selection with your brush. And there you can see I've now selected that. And it's missed a little bit on the bottom there, but that's fine. I'm not too worried about that. So, and we can tidy that up when we refine the mask. Okay, so now that that's done, we're going to refine the mask. We're going to subtract, click on subtract and we're going to choose the brush. All right, up the top here on the brush, we need to make sure that the feather is at 100 and that you've got the auto mask turned on. Now, there's a, um, I don't think my computer will, the screen capture will show the brush. I'm just enlarging it and I've got it up to about a, a hundred and something and you will see there's two circles on your brush and there's an inner circle and an outer circle and a little diagram will pop up explaining what, what that's about. And I'll just tell you as well, the inner circle is what you run around the edge, the 
outer circle is the feather, the feathering of that. So what that means is that if you, you if the inner circle goes on to the subject, it will subtract from the mask, and the so you just let the feathering go in in to the subject, but make sure that that the outer circle runs along the edge of the subject. Now what you need to do is you need to go all around this to do all that altering. So I go to 100% and I will just show you a couple of things. I'm not going to do the whole process on the um, video because it will drive you crazy because it'll take forever. Well, not forever, but it'll just make it a long video. It probably, it's probably about 10 minutes of editing, I would say, refining your mask. But they, it, it's the difference between a good image and a um, bad image. So, And I'm starting off in the foliage of the bank share of where the bird is perched, and I'm just making sure that edge is on the edge of the foliage. And you can see that it's doing quite a good job. And then I just make it smaller to go into the little nooks and crannies. And that's how you do it. You just got to go around and do every little um, one that has been missed. You know, some of your... Um, some of your images won't be like this. They'll be pretty straightforward, but you still will need to check and refine your mask. If you get a good background and there's not, and where the bird is, it's not, you know, a lot of um, foliage around it, you probably will find that you won't need to do this type of um, refining of your mask. But it's very important that you check around the, the bill and take that out. And, you know, you might want to go to 200%. And you can see on the bill that I've missed some of it. So, and it's, you know, like I, I would be, you can see I'm just making sure that I don't go over the edge with the inner circle. So just get that inner circle on the edge of the bird and the foliage and you won't have any problems with getting a good mask. And make sure you don't miss anything because you'll have funny little patches in your um, edits where it's missed what you've been doing. And you can see that it's, um, it's still a good um, selection. So I'm going to go back to, I'll drag around from the navigator to where I want to look and show you something and I'm just going to show you this area here on the Bankshire. I think you'd be all right just to go through and just sort of do that sort of because um, that's quite small and I know in the past when I've done it this way that it's it's sufficient to sorry I'm just concentrating on this. Um, this is at 200 percent by the way so uh, so that's what I would do that's how I deal with the really fine stuff and you just got to try and depending on what your image is doing all right so for um, argument's sake I'll just make sure I'll just do a little bit more here and you can see it can be fairly quick some of it, it just depends on um, how fussy you are with it and but I, I mean I like to check every little nook and cranny because um, I just want to make sure that it is done because quite often when you put it up and you you don't notice it and then suddenly you notice it and you can't get it out of your head and um, yeah so it's important I think all right so we'll just get that to fit and say I've done all that right, but now I want to work on the background. Say I do some edits, uh, make it a little bit, make the bird a little bit brighter, maybe uh, add a bit of contrast to the bird itself, and or to the just this subject. Okay, so now I want to work on the background, and I'll just show you a little hack here. What you can do is go up to your mask one, and then on the three dots click and 
duplicate and invert masks. So what happens is you're duplicating the subject, inverting so that it does the background, but it also takes the changes that you did on the mask as well. So then you get the background. And you can see from the overlay, it's um, included this bank shear in the subject, so it's not part of the background. So it makes life a lot easier. It just means you're not doing the mask again other than just inverting. And then you can maybe like either lighten your background a little bit or whatever. And you can see it's, a, it's good. It looks part of the, I'll go to 100%. And you can see around here and the bill that the mask has done its job. It's a little bit up here if you're fussy. and oh, You could go back and refine your masks and that. So there you go. That's, what, that's how you do it. And um, you just leave it like that and you can come back and edit later and change it and it's really good. And, and I hope that you uh, enjoyed this video. Any questions or comments, please do it down the bottom and I hope you subscribe and follow me. Thank you.